Good day, guys. Reddit user Jason2x has released another awesome script for the R36S, Session Recall. If that username sounds familiar, it's because they are the same developer that released the R36S system information script a few weeks ago. Let's take a look and see what this new Session Recall script actually does. We'll cover how to install the script later on in the video, but once the script's been copied over, you can run it by going to Options, down to Tools, and down to Session Recall. So basically what this script does is it scans the entire ArcOS SD card for both save states and in-game save files. You can see here SRM is the in-game save file. This file is created when you save in the game itself. For example, if you save inside Pokemon using the in-game menu, this is the file that will be created. And then the .state file is the save state. This is the save that you create using the hotkeys on your R36S. To the right of the file name, it also mentions when the file was created. So that's pretty handy to know. And finally, at the very end, it tells you what type of save it actually is. So you can see here it says in-game save, and down here it says manual save. If we select one of the files, we'll just use our save state for this test. Press A, it brings up a new menu. We can actually launch the game using the save state that we've selected, which is pretty awesome. And we can also delete the save if we want to. We'll go to launch and see if it actually works. So this is a Game Boy Advance game. Press A on launch. It tells you the core it's using, and you can see auto loading save state. So it does work. This is the save state that I created a little while ago. When you exit out of the game normally, so FNN start twice, it does take you back to the main menu and not back to the recall script. Although it does still stay on the options menu with the recall script selected. So we know it works on our non-clone R36S. Let's move over to our bright orange R36S clone, which is running the latest version of ArcOS K36S. So here it is here. We'll just go down to the options menu, go down to tools, and once again, session recall. I'll zoom in to make it a little bit easier to see. So the script did load, no issues, so that's good. And this time I do have a better selection of games we can test. We've got PlayStation 1, Game Boy, Super Nintendo, and Nintendo. We might try NES just to see if that works. So I'll go select and we'll go launch game. Perfect, it did work. Once again, if I quit out and we go back to the main screen, it does take us back to the options menu with session recall automatically selected. We'll open it up once more. This time we'll delete our Mega Man 2 save state. I do have two save states. So we'll try and delete state one, which is the one we just loaded. Go delete save. It does ask you to confirm, which is good in case you accidentally select it. Go yes, file deleted. And the save is missing now, so that's good. I think we'll try Crash Bandicoot 2 and see if that works. So again, we're launching the save state, not the in-game save. Go launch game. And yeah, straight back into the game, exactly where we left it. We'll quit out once more because I am curious to see what happens if we load the in-game save file instead of a save state. So this time we'll load the Super Mario Land 2 SRM, not the save state. So this should load into the game as normal but only to the title screen and not into an actual level where I saved. Make sure that works. So far, so good. And it seems to be working perfectly fine. I didn't actually beat the first level when I created the save state, so it makes sense for the save file to be pretty much empty. We're over on our Windows 11 PC now, and to get the script running, all we have to do is download it and copy it over to the tools folder on our ArcOS SD card. We've just gone to the Reddit post where Jason2x initially announced this script. If we go down a little bit, there is a GitHub link. We'll just click on that. From here, on the right-hand side, we want to click on Session Recall under Releases, and we want to download the latest version, sessionrecall.sh. I will put both the Reddit thread and this GitHub link down in the description below. Once everything's finished downloading, we can close off Chrome and open up our Downloads folder. Inside, we should have our Session Recall script. Just want to copy that, highlight it, press Ctrl C. Next, you want to insert the SD card from your R36S. I've already done it, so we'll just click on Easy ROMs to access the Easy ROMs partition. Inside here, we want to go down to Tools, open that folder up, and inside, we just want to paste the script, so Ctrl V. That's pretty much it. From here, you just safely eject your SD card and put it back into your handheld. As seen earlier, you can run the script by going to the Options menu, opening up Tools, and running Session Recall. Overall, this is a pretty awesome little script, and I can definitely see it coming in handy if you do have a bunch of save states. It's great that it works on both clone and non-clone handhelds as well, as long as they're running ArcOS. It would be awesome if they were able to add an option to view all of the save states found instead of only the most recent 10, but I'm guessing they limited it so it doesn't take forever to load. It would still be nice to have a toggle to view all saves. The developer also mentioned this currently only supports RetroArch saves and not any standalone emulators. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.